Don't be too sure, George. Maybe the planets do affect our lives. Get out of here. What about the moon? Even scientists say that some people act weird when there's a full moon. Hey, you know you're right about that, Weezy. There was a full moon when I proposed to you. <laughs> <laughs> and it was still full when I accepted. Forget that, Weezy. Why me? Because you're closer to the door than I am. You know what I'm thinking, George? No. I'm glad because you wouldn't like it. <laughs> oh, hi, Emily. Hello, Mrs. Jefferson. Is your husband in? Yeah, I'll come in. Thanks. Something wrong down at the store? <laughs> well, we have got a little problem, Mr. Jefferson. Did old man Harris come in yelling about his buttons again? Oh, as a matter of fact, he did. <laughs> I offered to pay him, but no, he wants his buttons. Well, those buttons mean a lot to him. That's why he took him off his World War I uniform and put him on his blazer. Well, I can't <laughs> find any. If he wants them that bad, tell him to run over to the American Legion and mug an old doughboy. <laughs> but Mr. Jefferson... And scratch one good customer. <clears throat> no, we don't have to. I got him his buttons. Huh? I called Brown's Theatrical Costumes, and they've got plenty of those buttons in stock. When I told that to Mr. Harris, he almost broke down and cried. <laughs> hey, that's great, Emily. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh. I'm always telling my wife you're one of the best employees I have ever had. Ain't that right, Louise? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, then maybe you'll consider making me manager of your store. Manager? I already got a manager, Lester Simpson. Not anymore. Lester quit this morning. He what? He came in, cleaned out his desk, and... Cleared out. Without saying anything? You know Lester, he never talked much. But he did give me this letter to give you. Said it'd explain everything. Dear Mr. Jefferson, I quit. Lester Simpson. <laughs> like I said, Lester was never one for wasting words. That ungrateful turkey. Who does he think he is up and quitting on me like that? Well, maybe he got a better job. What kind of a better job? Well, one with shorter hours, longer vacations, more money. Well, if that's what he wanted, why didn't he come and talk it over with me? I wouldn't have let him quit. Would you have given him all that? No, I would have fired him. <laughs> now I gotta find me a whole new manager, but quick. Well, what about Emily? I could do the job, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, give me a little time to think about it. What's there to think about, George? You need a manager quick. And Emily's got all the qualifications. I know that, we. Like I said, Emily, let me think about it and I'll let you know. When? Just as soon as I finish thinking about it. <laughs> oh. I understand. Good. Now get back downstairs and take care of the store like a good little girl. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Emily. <laughs> Weezy, why'd you go and do that? <laughs> do what? Put me on the spot like that in front of Emily. You know I can't make her a manager. Why not? Because because she ain't been with me long enough. George, Emily's been working for you for five years. Oh, uh, time sure passes quick, don't it? <laughs> All right, George, what's the real reason? There ain't no real reason. It's just because, uh... The... Because what? Because the... the... Hey, look who's here! Hi, good morning, Lalo. Good morning. Ah, good to see you. What you been doing? You mean since I saw you last night? Yeah. Sleeping. <laughs> George, you still haven't answered my question. Will you stop thinking about that question and start thinking about your son? He's probably starving. How about getting some breakfast? All I want is some coffee, Mom. All right. Now, George, about Emily. You is that all you want, son? That's not enough for my son. How about some eggs and cereal and pancakes? Here you are, Lionel. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> all right, George, give me a straight answer. Why won't you hire Emily to manage your store? Hey, that's a great idea. Emily would make a wonderful manager. Who asked you? <laughs> Nobody, but I... Don't butt in where you ain't want it. <laughs> what happened to all that good to see you, how you been? It just changed to bye-bye, who needs you? That's right. I don't need anybody telling me who to hire. And I have just decided not to make Emily my manager. Why? Because she's white? That's only half the reason. <laughs> 